So I saw a video uh, of a guy floating D20s to check their balance in salt water. Now it took me a little bit of time to create a solution that the D20s would actually float in. Um, I used Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. It's really thick. I had to boil the water in the microwave and everything. You can see there's chunks of salt kind of floating in there to get all of them to float. But something very interesting happened. Uh, I have 15 sets of dice uh, that are all made by Chessex. Now, uh, a few of them consistently were uh, randomized, and some of them were consistently uh, not. And so I went through my entire sets of dice. I did not just D20s, but D12s and D6s and everything, the whole set. And what I found was, 100% of the time, the uh, translucent dice, such as this, when you spin them, they float randomly. They don't have any particular uh, number that they have an affinity for. They're unbiased. And also, 100% of the time, the solid D20s and the solid, the, the entire set, floats with a bias. And the D20s float on one. One. Every time you spin it, it floats back up to one. And again, this is 100% of the time. I'm just going to take a couple of these D20s and toss them in here. And they're both showing one. So I feel kind of cheated by Chessex over the years because I've relied on them for almost 20 years of of D and D playing and tabletop RPGs and whatnot, and a hundred percent of their solid color dice. I'll, here I'll grab a I'll grab a D12. Oh, that's a that's, excuse me, that's a translucent one. Um, they might be in my other pile. I was washing my dice. Uh, one second. Here I grabbed a couple of solid color D12s. And you pop these in, and they either don't float. That one won't float. Or they float to 12. every time. So the solid color Chessex are actually very, very biased.